Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. There's a new Black Ops 3 patch out now on Xbox One and it's coming to PS4 and PC in the next couple of hours. And I figured it would be a good idea to let you guys know exactly what is contained in the patch because in my opinion, there's some pretty interesting stuff in here that I think you're all going to be pretty excited by. So, first of all, global change, general stability improvements. Happens every single time they drop a patch. Thank you, Treyarch, for the stability improvements. Then, in zombies, in the global section of the patch notes, we have added the M1911 and AK-74U to Zombies Chronicles. Praise the Lord, they're finally here. And that's not all, okay? They've updated wall buys in specific maps with the STG-44 and the MP-40, so you can jump onto Kino now, and instead of getting a CUDA wall buy in the kind of speed cola room, I believe it's now an MP-40, which is pretty awesome. They've also fixed a bug that would cause a player's screen to shake when another player fired the Mark II. That's something that I've personally experienced, for sure. They've fixed an issue where turned zombies would continue to display bullet impacts and play bullet impact sound effects, which I suppose is good. They fixed an issue where the magic box would stop functioning after a fire sale. That would suck. <laughs> Holy moly, that never happened to me, but can you just imagine just yeah, spinning the box nice and happily and then, oh, my box is broken. <laughs> that would be, uh, that'd be rather unfortunate. So... Uh, there's two more global fixes. One is that they've addressed various exploits across all maps, and the other is that they have fixed various collision and pathing issues. Pretty standard global stuff. Then there are the specifics. Revelations. Fixed an issue where players were downed immediately after teleporting into the dark arena. Can we just, can we just take a look at this for a moment? They've just fixed this. It's the 10th of July. 2017. Revelations came out, if I recall correctly, on the 6th of September last year? And they're only fixing this now? Why did it take them so long? This has plagued so many games. And yes, I'm sure they've made other kind of tweaks to it in the past to try and improve the issue because it was really bad on launch. But the fact that this is still a thing, people downing immediately after teleporting into the dark arena, like, come on! I'm glad it's fixed, but the fact that it's taken so long is just crazy. Then we have Moon. Increase the volume of the excavator voice over audio. Thank goodness. I told Treyarch about this day one. As soon as the map came out, I was like, bruh, her voice is too quiet. So I'm really glad that they have increased that volume. That is really good to hear. They fixed an issue where players can get launched into the air after walking off a gravity lift, which probably would have been pretty funny, to be honest, but you'd probably go down, so I guess the joke would be over pretty fast. <laughs> they fixed various bugs that would occur if the player was in Area 51 during the rocket launch sequence, which I'd never personally heard of myself. Various hacker tool bug fixes, which is good to hear. They fixed an issue that would cause lighting to stream in slowly after teleporting, so what that basically means is the lighting effects have to load into the level after you teleport because you've just gone to a new place and the game needs to load in everything that needs to be on the screen and the lighting effects would be some of those things it needs to load. In this case, I guess they were low on the priority list of the streamer and so they're basically bumping the lighting up the priority list to make sure that it looks good. I have noticed that a couple of times myself actually thinking about it. They've also fixed a bug where the Gersh device would not function in certain areas of the map which is pretty good. Next up, we're not even on the last map yet, Shino Numa. They've fixed an issue where flogger kills were not counting towards the trapeze artist challenge. How damn specific can you get, Treyarch? <laughs> I'm glad it's fixed, but that could not be any more niche. Specifically the flogger only, and specifically the trapeze artist challenge only. Okay, thanks, Treyarch. <laughs> now onto Origins. There's a lot for this one, okay? They have balanced the Panzer Soldat's health. Now, I don't know what this means, because uh, I feel like the Panzer Soldat's health was kind of okay. It was extremely high, and it meant that you'd have to, like, put two MP40s into the damn thing in order to kill it. But I haven't played Black Ops 2 Origins in quite a long time, and so I kind of remembered it being that way. Like, I forgot what it used to be like, and so I'd kind of got used to the current Panzer now. So if it's much weaker, then heck yeah, dude. <laughs> like, that's gonna be nice. If it's stronger... Oh no, <laughs> that's going to be terrible, but 
I guess we'll have to actually jump into the map and find out in the next couple of days what the balance change is there. They've also fixed an issue with the Panzer where it could get stuck inside walls. And I thought that they had already fixed this, but maybe it was getting stuck in more walls than I previously realized. They've also fixed various Panzer Soldat pathing issues and bugs. So generally, they've done a whole overhaul of the Panzer, like big time on Origins, which is probably a really good thing to hear because of the fact that it was really rather buggy before. They fixed an issue where players could take damage after being stomped on by the robot while wearing the golden helmet, which would suck if it happened to you. You would feel so cheated, so that's good. They fixed an issue where players were getting downed by a robot while in the trenches. Pause. Everybody thought this was intentional. What? I didn't even read this in advance of making this video, and I'm bamboozled right now. Players getting downed by robots in the trenches was not intentional. What? But... I'm th that in Black Ops 2, you could go down from that. I'm pretty sure that one. I think it's on the way to Gen 3, if I'm not mistaken. You could get downed. Maybe it was just too aggressive for Treyarch's liking in this version of Origins. I don't know, because I went down from that a lot while I was playing this map. So, I mean, that's great to hear, I suppose. Less downs for me. They've also fixed various elemental staff bugs and exploits. This is so good to hear. Last time I made one of these videos, I talked about the fact that these starves were not able to be put down in the holders far too often. It was ruining Easter egg runs. It was ruining speed runs. It was ruining so much gameplay. And they said that they fixed it in the last patch, but then it kind of kept happening a little bit. So hopefully these elemental staff bugs and exploits that have been fixed include those couple of glitches where you can't put it down, you can't pick it up, all those sorts of business. They've also fixed Templar pathing issues, which is cool. They fixed an issue where the robot hatch would fail to open after being hit. No way. No way. They've actually fixed this. I thought this was intentional. Again, I thought this was another thing that Treyarch had done to basically say, oh no, yeah, in the original version of Origins, this was too easy. Our true version, our true vision rather, of the foot was that you had to hit it in the exact middle in order for it actually to get opened. But no, apparently not. Apparently now, that robot hatch will open right up after you hit it every damn time. And again, I'm gonna have to try this in-game nice and soon, so look out for some videos on my channel about that. But this is just such good news. This is such good news. <laughs> They've also fixed an issue where all perk machines would stop functioning after a generator had been recaptured. Hallelujah! I thought that got fixed in the previous patch. I guess I'm mistaken there. Really good to see that that is sorted now. You could kind of fix it in your game by losing all generator access and then returning all of them on. But that was pretty long-winded and no one wants to have to do that. So great that that's fixed. They've reduced the buyable door prices in the starting area while playing solo games. Hell yeah. That's good news. Okay. Awesome. I really like that change. And players will receive a double points power-up after capturing the first generator while playing in solo games. Wow. I wonder if that's going to change anybody's strategies for like Easter egg speedrunny type stuff. I wonder. I feel like it could do. If the doors are cheaper and you're guaranteed a double points, maybe that's going to change people's strats a little bit. I don't know. I'm not an origin speedrunner, but I'd be interested to hear in the comments down below if you think that might change anyone's strats. Also, let me know in the comments down below which of these changes you're most excited for. I personally think that the Panzer Soldat rework and uh, just generally really the Origins fixes, fixing the staff bugs and exploits, fixing the robot hatch, fixing the fact that you get downed in the trenches, that's all such good news. Obviously, the 74U and M1911 is amazing, and I'll have some videos of those on my channel very, very soon, but... For now, I've been Mr. Waffle Waffles. Please leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.